In our previous study, we created an illusion of continuous frequency change by changing only the amplitudes of two frequency components. We call this technique pseudo-frequency modulation and explored it for only one frequency combination. Through further work, we found that PFM's effectiveness depends on the choice of frequencies. To further explore this relationship, we built a mixer type interface. The setup includes a sheet of paper made touch sensitive using a neo node. The printed sheet has two identical graduated scales on both sides. The user will wear a vibrotactile wristband to feel the haptic feedback. They can select the start frequency, end frequency, and the transition type and playback mode are selected by placing the finger in one of the boxed zones. Similar steps are taken to repeat the process for audio based feedback.